maybe. Hi, YouTube. I had a little bit of issues, but it's cool. Uh, back with Sally Face, episode 4. And we'll be doing episode 5 tomorrow, which will finish off this game. So, for now, let's see how this one turns out. I don't really remember where we left off. All I remember is freaking Bologna. Ah! Here. I already hate it. Ah, and it's louder. If I go this way, will it shut up? Fuck. Alright. Man. Ah! What? What is that there? Who put a furnace in my room? Oh. Now I'm in limbo. This is not the same art style as limbo. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh! Hi, Beelzebub! What's up, man? Who are you? I am... Lord Beelzebub. Well, really? So, you're like the devil or something? No, it's a nickname. Bestowed upon me by my kin. Family can be rough. Indeed. So, um, can I get into that back door? You only just arrived. No, you may not pass through my doorway. Oh. You must first admire my art. Your art? Yes. In the dark there are five. The fifth you mustn't see. Of the remaining four arts, you must gain a, gaze upon three. Once you have done so, report back to me. Alright, whatever you say, Edgar. It's Beelzebub. Lord Beelzebub. Okay, bubs. Be right back. Okay. Where's your art? I want to see it. Oh! There was a knock at the door, and I could see again. I was me again. Suddenly it forced my hand, and this freedom was revealed to be only an illusion. I was forced to watch everything, a prisoner in my own mind. I have done terrible things. Unforgivable things. Are you art? Was that art? Oh, is this art? This art is a lot better than the other. I don't like the eyeballs. Loud. What have we done to deserve such agony? They were determined to devour us all. Nothing could stop them. The burning lights of the gods have faded. Their watchful eyes turned to horrified screams, and then everything was black. Okay. If you say so, dude. DF. Alright, this one I go then. Um. Trapanort? Nort? What? I was broken before he found me. But you still seem pretty broken. Scattered and lost, then he looked upon my face and saw all of me at once. The what face? After being discarded by everyone else, after years of not even of not being seen or heard, he saw me, and we were in love. Oh, congrats! And everything was perfect. Oh, I'm happy for you. Until it all fell apart again. Now there is only pain. Oh. Oh, I, I thought we were gonna have a happy conclusion. Um. Well, hey, at, at least you were in love once. That, that's something. It could happen again. I don't know what you meant about your face, because I don't fucking see one, but, you know. Maybe you'll find that too. No idea what that is. Can't jump to the fifth. It's locked. 
Oh, what? Nailed it. Damn it. All right. Well. Hey, man. So, appearing eyes. They're filled with regret and sorrow. They're in a lot of pain. They're heartbroken. Can I go through the door now? Once you go through that door, there's no going back. Thank you. You're welcome. See ya, bubs. Can I go back and look at the other art now? I wonder if there's a clue in these rooms. Not you. Okay, so there's like three lines there, so maybe that's number three is the lightning bolt. No, wait, this one was over here. Ah, oh, no, that one also... Hmm. Alright, so D... Freaking lightning bolt. Oh, peering eyes. D lightning bolt N. Alright, well. Hmm. Th these are the symbols. Damn, I thought I did all the combinations that I could. Nah, it's probably not that important. Watch that be like a secret ending or something. I don't know if this game has multiple endings. Ooh, so pretty. This is nice. Computer. I disrupted the pretty. Ah! Oh. Okay. Um. All right, when's the scary thing going to happen? There's a unicorn? Uh, is that a freaking My Neighbor Totoro reference? I think so. I think that's the name of it. Like a Ghibli movie for kids. I, well, all Ghibli movies are for kids. Hello, Just For God! Thank you for coming on in! Welcome! Huh? Where's my cell phone? Where's my phone? Oh, yo, we got GameCube! 
Hell yeah. Gonna play some Smash Melee. Can you change the mask you use? No, this mask is the only one. At least as far as I know. How am I? I'm doing good. Been a long week, but not a bad week, so, you know. How have you been, Just Forgot? Forget. How you been? When did my apartment get this big? Why does my cat look like he's cracked out? Dude, really? Why do you keep getting these stickers? That's it. What the heck changed to my apartment? You're great? Oh, that's wonderful. Glad you're doing well. Sal's room. Don't know. Don't know. Upstairs. Do I live in a house now? Who the hell are you, and why do you look like a freaking Chad? Morning, Celio. What's happening? Hey, Neil. No pigtails today, huh? I don't think I've ever seen you with your hair down. Almost didn't recognize you. Hm, yeah. You feeling all right, man? You seem out of it. Is this your first time playing this game, right? Yeah, it is, actually. Uh, uh yeah, I'm all right. You been sleeping okay? I heard you get up a few times last night. There's a fresh pot of coffee downstairs. I know you're not a big fan, but you should have a cup. It'll do you some good. I never start the day without my caffeine fix. Thanks, I guess I'm feeling a little tired. No problem, Salio. Dude, you're such a chad. Holy crap. My roommate's handsome. I'm intimidated. Was I trying to find my phone? Neil loves this stuff, but I hate the taste. No thanks. Alright, just, you know, thought we offer. So bright outside. The <laughs> same. Me, anytime I approach my freaking front door. Nah, <laughs> too bright outside. I'm going back to bed. Oop, did not mean to go back in here. Oh, cool, I strum the guitar. And I have, like, a glass eye collection. Interesting. Alright. Our very own local mystery. In other news, Knockfell Mills was engulfed in flames this morning. Firefighters rushed to the scene, but by the time they were able to eliminate the fire, a majority of the building and materials had already been destroyed. The factory has been a major source of employment for our small town since 1934. This is the third time the building caught on fire, and never have we seen such devastation as today. Authorities believe the fire was result of foul play, but couldn't say any more at this time. Earlier this year, there was also the anniversary of the previous fire, the second largest of the three, where over 20 people died. Fun! Luckily, this time there were no casualties, however, three factory workers are currently in the hospital with minor injuries. Currently unclear as to whether the owners can afford to rebuild the mill, They've been on a slow de decline for the past decade, and have been struggling financially. If they don't rebuild, many families will lose their main source of income. We'll keep you updated as we receive more details. Okay. Neil is Todd's boyfriend, by the way. Oh, right! I remember seeing his picture in the freaking locker. God, he turns into a fucking Chad. Have you seen my phone? Oh, we even got a backyard? Hell yeah! Oh, barbecue and stuff? Man, this looks nice! 
just updated the block, and I'm not sure what Todd set the new code to. Um. Um. Elite. Shit. Um. Boobs. Damn it. All right. <laughs> Freaking. Yo, Neil, do you know what your boyfriend set the code to? I tried leet and boobs. On second thought, boobs probably wasn't a great guess considering he's gay, but. I mean, look, man, I'm trying all I know. Uh, have you seen my phone, by the way? Can't find it anywhere. Oh, yeah, I found it outside last night on the porch. I didn't want to leave it in there, so I brought it in. I almost forgot I had it. Thanks. Didn't realize I left it outside. No worries. Happens to the best of us. Here you go, man. Thank you. Oops. Oh, uh, he has class this morning. Oh, right. How goes the ghost hunting? Todd was saying that it's been pretty slow lately on that front. Slow? I wish, or I mean, yeah. Slow. It's been slow. You boys are trying to keep me protected again, aren't you? It's sweet, but you know, I can handle myself, right? Plus, I'm two years older than y'all, too. No, I know, it's just that we... Yeah, yeah, four friends made a pact five years ago, and I can respect the loyalty behind that. Actually, I think it's pretty cute. I think it's pretty dang cute. Heh. <laughs> Speaking of cute, I heard that lovely Ash was coming to town today. The lone wolf of the four horsemen returns. Are you excited? We're supposed to catch up this afternoon. So, that's a no on the excitement, then. No, I can't wait to see her. I'm just, you know, feeling tired today. Still coffee downstairs, calling your name, Sally Face. Come on, get some. Did you hear strange noises? Uh, you're gonna be a bit more specific, Mr. Sleepyhead. Last night, I thought I heard something like a weird siren. I didn't hear anything like that. Maybe Gizmo was up watching TV? No, it wasn't that. It was kind of like, uh... Eh, never mind. Probably just the nightmares. Gosh, man, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. So we just accept that my cat is, like, another human being and just, like, watches TV and lounges whenever he freaking wants. How's work going? Ah, shoot, work. I'm supposed to cover the morning shift today. Gotta run, Sally. I'll catch you later. Oops. Well, now I can look through the desk for the code, I assume. Perhaps the sticky note. Oh, jeez, that's a freaking long code. 4035364. Oh, do I got a flip phone? Hell yeah! Oh man, flip phones are the shit. Oops. Freaking my first phone was a flip phone, and it was amazing. Until it broke. Then it wasn't quite so amazing. Wrong way. What time is it for you now? It's 11.24 p.m. here. It is 1.24 p.m. for me. So, you know, day's just started. Oh, shoot. What was the code again? I'm not good with numbers. 4035364. Four, zero, three, five, three, six, four? Yeah, I did it! I know numbers! Finally! Maybe one day I'll be able to count to five! I can't believe we've been working on this for five years now. You can count that high? It feels like the more connections we find, the less sense it all makes. Uh, let's see, we got a UFO. Uh, 
think a pentagram. <laughs> uh, a lot of stuff that I do not understand. A Rubik's Cube. Yeah, you're two hours ahead of me. Still, is the cult still operating? If so, then where are they all? It was cool of Rob to give us some funds for new equipment when he found out that we what we were up to. Basically, I thought we were real life ghost snappers. You mean Ghostbusters? <laughs> Alright. Just got my video copyright claimed. That's good. Really, where are you from? I am from California. Freaking of America. I'm not sure what else to do now. Guess I'm still not wanting coffee. So bright outside. Okay. What did I need my phone for? Battery is dead. I have to charge it. Okay. Well, god damn it. Check back in a minute. All right. So why the heck did I need the shed open? Yo, Gizmo, can I watch TV with you? Is that a no? Can I recognize any of these stickers? I have no idea what any of these are. Well, I mean, a couple of them are flags. I don't know which flags, though. So far away from you? Do you, do you live in the other half of the world? Because if so, then, yeah, you're, you're, you're pretty far. Oh my god! I... Oh! Huh. Oh, hi! I saw the faded shape of a man. There's something important about him. I can feel it. Like a distant memory itching at the back of my skull. His image is fleeting. It flickers in and out of view, as if he's trapped in a parallel reality, a phantom just out of reach. Or perhaps I'm the phantom, and he resides in the land of the living. I've cried for his attention, but I don't think he can see me or hear me. Okay. Weird. You live in the Ukraine? Oh, shout out to Ukraine. Is my phone charged yet? Up the stairs. Looks like it's charged now. There's a message from Larry. And I wish my phone charges in a minute. Are you awake? No. I am now. What's up? 
Something is wrong with the Addison Apartments. When isn't there something wrong with the apartments? Other than ghosts and creepy basement? I'm serious. I'm coming over. Give me a few minutes. Okay, text me when you're ready. Ready? I'm on my way now. Jeez! Oh! Oh. I didn't even realize that. I didn't get the episode 4 screen yet. Hey? This all seems to be a dramatic change from your original story, Mr. Fisher. Isn't it true you initially stated that you are not in contact with Larry Johnson? Yes. So you admit lying in your original statements. Yes. I was in shock from what had happened and thought that the truth would be more harmful. That no one would believe me. I didn't know what else to do. And how can we trust anything you say now? Are we to decipher what is true and what is a lie? All I have left is the truth. It's important that people hear what I have to say. Whether they believe it or not. Well. I hope for their sake they do. Is that a threat? It's a warning. Would you have us believe there is still a killer on the loose in Knockville? That all the evidence presented today. The victim's blood on your clothes and skin. Your fingertips on the murder weapon. The security footage. The eyewitness accounts. That all of these things were some elaborate cover-up, created by who? The county police department? If it's alright with the court, I'd like to continue my testimony. It's important that the story be told chronologically, in order to prevent details from being taken out of context. Well, more so than they already have been. I'll allow it. Yo, just for good. Thank you so much for the follow. Very much appreciate that. I'll allow it. Please continue your testimony, Mr. Fisher. But realize we will expect answers to these questions the prosecution has presented. Ah, everything will be answered. Then proceed. I like your glasses. <laughs> Hi, Larry. I'm telling you, dude, something weird is seriously wrong. Dude, I, I touched a freaking videotape and got transported into like an alternate dimension. So, I don't think things are exactly normal. Did you see that demon again? No, I haven't seen it since we blasted it years ago. I went through every inch of the building this morning with the Super Gear Boy and found nothing. All the ghosts have been missing for weeks. That is a little odd. So who's to say it's a bad thing? Maybe they were able to finally pass on. I don't know, man. I've been getting this horrible feeling. Like something under my skin, crawling around, itching at the back of my skull. It's like the quiet before the storm or some shit. I can feel it. Huh. What? Deja vu. I've been getting that feeling too. Like everything is foggy and there's something there just beyond the fog. Just waiting. Yes, exactly. Whatever it is, it's coming from the apartments. So you're going to come check it out or what? Of course I will. But the outside world scares me. I want to go back in. Should we get Todd? He has class today. Oh, alright. I was hoping he would have a new gadget or something. He's been working on something, but I don't think it's finished yet. The guitar mods are finally done, but Todd hasn't shown me how to use it yet. So not best not to mess with it. Hopefully it works better than that box thingy he made last year. Yeah, I'd like to keep my guitar in one piece. I can play the guitar now? God damn, I'm cool. So, y'all packed up? Almost. I want to get the rest moved over. I'm going to... I am an excellent reader. I want... Oh, I missed all that. Okay. Cool, Todd said we can use the van. Sweet. Yeah. Well, I hope everyone else read that because I didn't. God damn it. Why am I an idiot? 
Oh, is that roadkill in the back? Cool. Man. Huh. This place actually looks nice despite being, like, super fucked up everywhere. Ah, oh, cemetery? Hell yeah. Can't wait till we have to go on that eventually. Probably. Phelps Ministry? God Sees All? I have some apartments. Huh. Didn't move very far. Looks like you were right about that storm. Literally, freaking storm clouds. Alright, let's do this! Right behind you. Ah, still got the security cameras. What does that note say? Am I able to read it? It's... It's something something all the time. It can't... It can't rain all the time, I think? It's not even raining. Mr. Addison's been storing this stuff in here for so long, I bet he doesn't even remember what's in all these boxes. Probably filled with stuff when his family was alive. Yeah, some of them are. The rest is like old clothes, tea sets, cookbooks, just a bunch of old junk. Larry! What? You snooped through Terrence's things? Well, yeah, dude. How could I not? I never leave his room. Plus, I also wanted to make sure he wasn't involved with the cult or hiding bodies in here or anything. But it's all just normal boring gold man stuff. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Man, ever since we found that cult, we have we are petrified. Well, I guess not petrified, we're still moving. Well, good morning, young sirs. How are you two on this fine day? We're doing okay, how about you? I'm just wonderful, things have been so peaceful in the building. Though, of course, we do miss having our dear Sal Fisher with us. And it'll be sad to see Larry going as well. I'll miss you here too, but it'll be nice to get out of that basement. Well, it's only right down the road. I understand. Our young lads are all grown up now and ready for the next stage of their lives. I'm excited for you both. You know, I wish you boys nothing but the best. You truly deserve it. Thanks. Thank you, Terrence. He's nice. Even if he never leaves his room. Why did they leave all of Rosenberg's stuff in here again? Addison still thinks she's on vacation or something and she'll come back. I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, yeah, like... What the heck? What did I just pick up? Huh? What is it? A tooth. Gross, dude. You picked it up with your bare hand? I'm not just gonna leave it there. What if we need it for something? What could we possibly need somebody's tooth for? Hi, I'm Sally Face and this is my friend Larry. We're research paranormal and occult activity in the town of Knoxville, where everything can, where everything weird can and does happen. Good point. E. Two of five teeth, apparently. Hmm. Well, I guess I need to keep an eye out for other teeth. But, oh yeah, I freaking killed this old lady. Still not really sure what happened to her. Said she just, like, disappeared, right? Yeah, but it was m more than that. She appeared like a ghost before vanishing. I don't think she was fully human. Alright, I remember you saying that. And she was in the cult for a while, but then stopped them. Or tried to stop them. Which would make her super old. I think she was a witch. That would make sense. Though if she had powers, why would Rosenberg just mope around in this little apartment? Maybe she was too old, or maybe she'd just given up. If I had powers, I would never retire. I'd be getting into all kinds of trouble. <laughs> I know you wouldn't. Oh, Larry, you old prankster, you. Hey, Gibson, do you still hate us? 
Yeah, what do you want, Sal? Why is he here? Hey, Miss Gibson, we were... That's about par for the course. That lady sure can't hold a grudge. What did we do to her? I don't even remember. Gonna go to the basement first. Any teeth? Any teeth down here? Any teeth in here? Teeth? My shiny teeth on me! Oh, hey, there's a teeth. Another one? Yeah, maybe it's a clue or something? N. Alright. N-E. A number of words that have N-E in our five letters, so... Haven't really narrowed it down yet. Shit, I must have dropped the key somewhere this morning when I was looking around. When was the last time you remember having it? I have no idea. I could have sworn it was still in my pocket. I'm sure it will show up somewhere. Well, for some reason I feel like we're probably just not going to go back in there for whatever reason. You're back? Welcome back! I missed you for like the five minutes you were gone or something. I didn't keep track of the time, but I noticed you. I noticed you were gone. Through there. All right, Larry. You got any teeth lying around in your apartment? <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, to be fair, I don't really have many people that come watch me live, so it's quite noticeable when someone leaves. It's weird being to be leaving here after so long. I felt that w way when we left New Jersey, but it was a change. It was a change I didn't know I needed at the time. So glad it worked out the way it did. Yeah, it'll be awesome to room with you and Todd. Can't wait for that, honestly. Still, and I don't know if I'm not going far. I know, not going far, but it's still a little sad for some reason. It's a big change, Larry. It's okay to feel emotional about it. You okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Let's keep looking around. My name? My name is Sikoni. I started Twitch streaming a few months ago, like back in... Oh man, I want to say March? And I mostly do horror games and stuff, though I'm open to other kinds of games and stuff. Looking for teeth. Do you remember the first time I saw you without your mask? How could I forget? You were headbanging so hard it flew right off and whacked me in the face. You were so worried about my bloody nose that you didn't even notice at first. I felt bad. Yeah, but then once I told you I was fine, why did you cry? Because you didn't look away. Oh. Oh. Boys giving me emotions. God damn, the art style in this game is nice. I still can't believe my dad abandoned us. It doesn't feel like him. It doesn't feel real. I, uh, I don't. I know there's something you've been keeping from me, Sal. Something about my dad. You're horrible at keeping secrets. It's okay, man. I haven't mentioned it before because I trust you. If you're keeping something from me, it's because you have to, right? Nice to meet you. I'm Karina. Nice to meet you. Welcome to my stream. Thank you again for following and everything. Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. I'll tell you the truth. Look, it's been hard keeping this from you, but I couldn't be sure what was real and what wasn't. I didn't want to upset you, but... 
I think your dad has been contacting me somehow. What? I'm not sure if it's really him or not. That's why I haven't brought it up. Plus, he told me to keep you safe and not tell you about him. He says that if you knew the truth, it would put you in danger. If it is your father, then I... Well, I don't think that he's 100% human. But the important thing is that he didn't abandon you. He sacrificed himself to try to stop the call and protect you and Lisa. He loved you both more than anything. What do you mean he's not human? It's kind of hard to explain, but I think your dad was an alien or something? I'm guessing this is related to the freaking box a couple chapters ago. I didn't actually solve that box. He crash landed here after losing his home planet to a plague of shadows. He was with his sister Evelyn, but she died in a crash or got lost or something. It wasn't really clear what happened to her. Are you going to say anything about all this? You know, you don't have to make up some crazy story to make my dad into a hero. And aliens? Really? Dude, that didn't help your story at all. I'm telling you the truth, Larry, I swear. Alright, dude, it's fine. Can we just drop this for now? Okay, but we're going to talk about this more later. Uh, I'm not making this up. I wouldn't lie to you, man. I love you. Is there any teeth in here? Oh. Alright, there's nothing else to do in here. Cool! Alright, back to the apartments. I gotta search for more teeth. For whatever reason. Probably not even my main objective. Kind of weird for an for an episodic game to have like side quest like things. Wish I solved that box in like, oh jeez, what was that? Like chapter two, I found that. Wish I solved that back when I found it, but I didn't know what I was doing. Floor two. Go this way first. Dark. Any teeth? What? Pocket knife. Score! Nice, that could come in handy. Hell yeah. And cut someone. In the face. Did you see on the news that they said Charlie was going to be released? I did, but that's not the real Charlie. Where do you think he is now? The real Charlie, I mean. Most likely, the cult probably has him, or killed him. Maybe he ended up in the Bologna. Ugh, as much as I didn't want to get along with that dude, no one deserves to be made into Bologna. Charlie was a, was a little strange, but he was a good guy. I was starting to like him before we thought he was a murderer. Man, we kind of screwed him over, didn't we? It wasn't our fault. We couldn't have known. And you saw him kill her with your own eyes. You saw nightmares about that. <laughs> Looking for tea. Oh, Larry, what the heck? You're not going to follow me into the bathroom, man? Come on, man. I need someone to keep me covered. I can't, I can't go if you ain't here, Larry. All right, well. Ah, you didn't even move away from the door. Don't mind me, Todd's parents. I'm just gonna search for weed. Hey. Hey, guys. Larry, are you back for more already? Nah, I'm cool, Ray. Thanks. Hey, Mr. Morrison. So, have you seen the garden yet? What do you think? Uh, it's great. Isn't it, though? It's a thing of true beauty. How did you get all this stuff, anyway? 
Well, if I told you that, I'd have to kill you. But really, this isn't exactly legal per se, so I appreciate you guys keeping this a little secret. Of course. I'd be happy to supply you with some more produce whenever you like. Your secret is safe with us. You don't have to worry about that. I didn't think so, but you can never be too safe. I know Todd isn't super fond of the fact that we turned his old bedroom into a garden, but he knows how happy he thinks us. He also knows that nothing will fill the Todd-shaped hole in our hearts. Oh, He's lucky to have such loving parents. And such good friends. I'm damn proud of all you boys. Damn proud. Thank you. My man's smoking up and it ain't even 420 yet. Oh my god, you're so high, you're purple. Sally Face and Larry Bear. This is a pleasant surprise. Hi, Janice. Hey. What brings you two here? Uh, just saying hi. Hello. Hee <laughs> hee. Hello. Hi. She is gone. Did you boys just go into the bathroom together? Greg? Are you here? Hello? Not getting anything on the Super Gear Boy either. The tooth will set you free. Oh, I didn't even notice the tooth over there. Dude, no. What do we got? Oh. Tooth I found on the second floor. It's all burnt up. What number tooth is it? Three of five. Okay, so... I don't know what the third letter is. Uh, thank you for the burnt tooth in your bathroom. Probably smoked it out through all the freaking weed you have. Man, it still reeks in here. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, this was the freaking, like, murder room place, whatever. It's still blood stains in the carpet. I should have known those guys weren't real cops. I had a weird feeling about them. I don't know how they can how they cleared this place out overnight with just the two of them. They were definitely the same dudes pretending to be cops when Miss Sanderson died too. Saw them leaving in the morning. Saw them too, remember? Yeah, maybe that's why they came overnight, because they knew we'd recognize them somehow. Todd still hasn't been able to figure out their true identities, huh? No, but I could have sworn I saw one of them going into a church a few weeks ago. I've been keeping an eye out every day now. They've been having a lot of meetings over there. That's like a normal church thing, though. Meetings and whatnot? It could be nothing. Or it could be something. A church did always give me the creeps. We went up to Chapel Hill a few times for the holidays when I was younger. I've been talking to Todd about setting up some hidden cameras and audio recorders in there just to check it out. Cool. I'm down for some good old B... B and... B plus E? B T E? B? Oh, breaking and entering. Come on, dude. Oh, right. Sally, I was right there with you, man. I didn't know what the heck he was talking about. I'm be able to understand what I'm talking about because I speak Russian. You don't know how to... I'm assuming you probably know how to speak English, but I'm guessing it's more comfortable to speak in Russian. I wonder what Miss. I wonder what they did with Mr. Packardson's body. Well, at least he wasn't served as lunch meat. Yeah, hopefully not. Huh? There's a tear on the carpet here. You can't pull it by hand though. Really? Gonna use the pocket knife on it? Oh, uh, okay. This th that's probably where the code for the teeth go. Maybe. Nope, these are numbers. Those aren't letters. I'm dumb. God damn it. Everyone ignore me. I'm not here.
Oh god, I can't. Oh, that same shit is still in the toilet. Ah, oh, gross. Can any rings on the gear boy here? Oh, even your little goat buddy is hiding. No, not my goat. I love him like a brother. All right, up to the third floor then. I almost passed the elevator. Floor three, please. Still on the hunt for teeth. And now apparently a freaking floor code. Oh, God, you're still without parents. Hey, Sal. Hey, Larry. What are you up to? Hey, David. We're just checking in with everyone. How are things going? Ah, oh, it's awfully kind of used, but I'm afraid I can't talk much at the moment. Sarah's been feeling wild, you see. So I gotta take care of her. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope she gets well soon. I'll be around if you need anything. Thank yous. Thank yous both. Alright. CJ. Oh. Huh. So everyone left and it's just you now, huh? Yo, what up, guys? Yo! Hey, CJ. Are you having a party tonight or something? Nah, but Z and Sierra are coming over later. It'll be like old times. You two should stop by if you can. Sounds cool. We'll keep that in mind. Cool, cool. Alright. Yo, you have a Russian streamer and a French streamer you follow? Hell, that's cool. I don't even know any Russian or French streamers. Well, I know people who are, like, ethnic ethnically that, but no one that actually, like, streams in Russian or streams in French. Oh! What? The... the you guys are a thing? You have a kid? When did this happen? Hey, guys! Hi, Sal! Uh, hey, Larry! Sowie face! Is your name literally Soda? That is so cute. You're gonna get bullied for that name, but god damn it, that is so cute. Hey, you two. Hey, guys. Yo. You two look like you're up to no good as usual. Glad to see some things stay the same. Oh, are you guys working on another one of your secret cases? It wouldn't be a secret if we told you now, would it? I suppose not. How are you two? We're good. You know, ups and downs, but mostly good, though. Yeah, how have you been, Sal? Haven't seen you around in a little while. I've been okay, keeping busy with school and whatnot. So, Chug, I heard that your parents moved out. They left a few months ago. Too crowded in here with all of us. Plus, they wanted to give us some privacy. It's been nice. That was nice of them to give you guys the apartment. That reminds me. I'm supposed to visit my parents tonight. Are you going? Are you okay to watch Soda while I'm gone, babe? Of course. You notice anything weird? Nope, it's been nice and ghost free. No spooky stuff for us. Let's hope it stays that way. Alright, see ya. I'm gonna talk to your daughter. Hey, Soda. How's my best baby doing? Hee hee hee. Wanna go for a ride on Uncle Sal's shoulders? Oh, Sal, she has a bit of a rash right now. You might not want to pick her up. Thanks for the heads up. Mommy. Yes, love. I want to ride on Unky Sal's shoulders. Not today, Muffin, okay? Remember what I said this morning. Oh, okay. Don't worry, little, little so. If you take the medicine you got from the doctor this morning, we'll have you flying around in no time. Promise? I promise. You bet. Hee hee hee. She's fucking adorable. God damn it. I love her. Well, I had no idea that that was even a plot line that was happening. How much stuff did I miss in the previous chapters? Oh, another tooth. You want the tooth? You can't handle the tooth. 
Thank you for the movie references. S, four or five. N E something S. I have no idea what that word could be. Unless if it's not even in the number of the freaking things that I'm finding them in. Alright, time to go to this side. Well, I have to go. Thank you for your stream. You're so cute. Bye. See y'all. Good luck with the game. Oh, thank you, Just Forget. Anytime you want to stop by in the future, you're more than welcome to, of course. Again, thank you so much for the follow. I very, very much appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day. You probably shouldn't bother him for now. Oh, I just... Oh, right, I already went to this side. God damn it. Why am I so dumb? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm assuming floor four is going to be progress, so I'm going to go to floor five. Any teeth? Oh, the store's open? Since when does this door open? Holy shit, Pickle! Oh, it's you again! Hey, I haven't seen you since um, since freaking chapter one! You've made a mistake. What the hell, man? The end will be us all. What does that even mean? You can't be staying in here. The darkness binds... Okay. Dude scared the shit out of me. I've got that bum sleeping up here before too. I wonder what he meant. It just sounded like crazy gibberish to me, man. Ah, I was wondering what happened to him. Oh, cool, the last two. What? No stupid pun this time? I couldn't really think of any to tell you the truth. To tell you the truth, <laughs> you fuck. N E S W. Well, that's not a word, unless if you like turn into news. The only word I can think out of that would be news, but maybe it's supposed to be the freaking cardinal directions north, south, east, west? I'm not sure. Oops, wrong button. Well, hey, I found the teeth. Now, if only I knew what that freaking floor code was. Oh, jeez, a bunch of rooms that I'm able to go into all of a sudden. Oh, oh, I broke it. Oh, ah! Uh. Hunger. Oh my god. Hunger has been tearing up my stomach and yet I don't die. How long has it been? It's impossible to tell in this endless night. How long must I rot in this fucking prison? No food, no light, no sleep, no contact, nothing. Nothing. Just glimpses of life beyond my reach. I wish they would open that goddamn vortex already. I wish they would tear this world apart. I wish this would all end. I need this to end. Lovely! Oh, okay. Well, it seems like those tips are gonna be important. I hope I didn't miss any in freaking Sal's place and didn't realize. Maybe I can get them later, I don't know. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you remove these? 
Yeah, I did that this morning when I was looking around. Okay, let's double check in here. Stacy, are you there? I was like, on the gear, boy. Stacy was always difficult to summon, so I'm not surprised she's not showing up now. True. I hope she's at least with Megan. Oh, haven't been here since freaking chapter two. So much death and destruction under one roof. Yeah. I feel bad for the Holmes family. They didn't deserve what happened to them. As much as I want to hate Luke for what he did, I can't help but feel sorry for the dude. He brought it on himself by helping the council summon the demon. It just sucks that he had to get Stacy and Megan caught up in it. Do you think it's really dead? The red-eyed demon? Yeah, I know Todd's blaster supposedly destroyed it, but it seemed a little too easy, didn't it? I know what you mean. I've thought the same thing before, but we haven't seen any sign of it for years now. What if, like, we only wounded it and it's just waiting in the dark somewhere until it gets better? Then we blast it back to hell again when it shows up. Alright. Time to go check on Megan now. Well, she'll probably not show up. Megan? Hello, are you with us? Nothing on the Super Gear Boy. Hey, where did her necklace go? I didn't even notice it was gone before. That's weird. Maybe that's why she's not coming. What about the rest of them? I don't know. Oh. But I worked so hard to get that necklace. Alright, well, time to go to floor four. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I can go into all the rooms now, it seems. Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't want to go into the rooms anymore. There's a tape here, but it's broken. Interesting. I don't suppose I have anything to fix that. I mean, I have a lot of stuff, but... Pocket knife it! Alright, well, worth a try. Oh. Hi. Um. Your wife's dead. Oh, sorry, we didn't realize anyone was in here. Mr. Sanderson? Hi, Larry. I was just stopping by to say goodbye to Sally. Saying goodbye? I'm leaving Knockville tonight. I just. I need to leave this place. It's understandable, man. You've been through a lot. Have you... This may sound a bit odd, but have either of you seen my life around? I don't know if you believe in ghosts. I guess I was just hoping I could speak to her once more. Right, well, perhaps she's in a better place now. I hope that she is. Sandy didn't deserve this. Oh, God. Would you boys do me a favor and just give me a moment alone here? Sure, Mr. Sanderson. That's no problem. Let us know if you need anything. Thank you, Larry. Huh. Didn't expect to see that character. Wait a minute. Dad and Lisa? Your mom moved in with my dad? Yo, are we stepbrothers? Hell yeah. Change your hair? Uh, they commented on it at the beginning of the episode, but yeah, Sally's hair is different this time. In the previous ones, he had it in pigtails. Now it's just all down. Oh, it's you again! Hey, there's my ghost snabbers. Hey, dude. Hey, Rob. 
How goes the hunting? It's dead around here. I know the ghosts have been showing up for a little while now. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We aren't sure yet, but we're looking into it. I see. Have you noticed anything strange lately? Anything at all? Well, I got this weird lump on my left butt cheek. If you guys could take a look. Oh, I didn't mean if we... I don't know if I really qualify for that. I'm just fucking with you. My bottom is smooth as butter. Heh, <laughs> butter. <laughs> Larry, you fucking goofball. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> I feel like I just went through a fucking fever dream. <laughs> well, um, bye Robert, you're cool. <laughs> Wanted you to look at his booty hole. I mean, I'll look if he wants me to. I ain't afraid. Oh, the computer's on that side now. Oh, in fact, the whole room is switched over to this side. Okay. Dad, how'd you flip the, the entire room around? Oh, no, you just turned my room into your office. Okay. My old room is now an office. All right, I get it now. I forgot the layout of my old apartment. Oh, you two are together! Oh, you made! Oh, look at us! Ah! Oh, Larry, we're step siblings! Hey, Dad. Hey, Lisa. Hey, guys. Hi, fellas. Yo! Hey, when's the last time we had the entire family together like this? Um, like a couple weeks ago? Sal. We shall have dinner together tonight. Come on, what do you say, boys? Lisa's going to show me the top secret to making her lasagna. Oh, your lasagna is the best, Lisa. Oh, thank you, sweetie. I'm not going to say no to free dinner. Actually, I have plans tonight, but if I'm done early, I'll come over. Okay, we'll have Lisa instant message you or whatever you kids do once dinner is ready. It's called texting, Dad. Right, right, that. Sounds good. Are you fangirling my it's just cute, okay? Hmm. <laughs> Voice just went high octaves. I mean, yeah. Good point. <laughs> Okay, well, I've been everywhere now. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. The only odd thing was here. this. Damn it. I have no idea what that could be. Hmm. <sighs> been everywhere that I think I'm supposed to. I don't know where else to go. I've literally checked every freaking room. <laughs> Alright, that was funny. Can't leave yet. Crap. I know I have teeth.
No new messages. Alright. Damn it, I don't know what to do! No, I'm lost! Larry, help me out! What was this room again? Alright. Oh, nothing that I can interact with. not bother her. What am I doing? Do 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 one do one do one do 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 one. Oh, you getting any hits on the Super Game Boy in here? Nothing. Yo, Larry, I don't know what the fuck we're doing, man. We should let Herman be alone. Poor dude's a wreck. Do you think the council will let him leave Knockfell? I hope so, man. Hasn't he been through enough? Yeah, but if he was involved with a couple before his wife died, and tried to get out, like we think he did, I'm sure they're keeping an eye on him. They're probably right, but they've been quiet for so long now. Maybe they aren't operating anymore or whatever. Or maybe they've just been laying low, waiting for the right moment. Maybe. Either way, if we find them... Yeah, you're just gonna leave me on a cliffhanger like that? What? Now it works? God damn it. I tried that before. Oh, and I'm gone. Bridge. Why? Why won't you answer me? Every passing moment just silently staring down upon me with no remorse. They're gathering as we speak. They mean to open a vortex. Perhaps into this world, a bridge between us and them. Does this not arouse your attention in any way at all? Sometimes I wonder if you're even real. Is there anyone behind that lens? Or just a corpse decaying at the helm? My pleas for help infinitely echoing into the vast emptiness of death. You know what? I think you could use some more positivity in your life. Okay. But I mean, if all three of us are down, I'm down. Don't really care what people would say. What do you think? Uh, yeah, sure. Really? I wasn't sure you'd be into the idea. We should probably revisit this conversation again later. My mind is a little fuzzy right now. You glitched out again while I was talking, didn't you? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay, dude. I know you can't control it. Did you get anything useful from it this time? I think so, but I'm still trying to piece it together. Hmm. Alright, well, there's a little bit of progress, I guess. I still don't know what else to do now, though. Oh, that's where that camera went. I forgot. Hmm. I forgot that that one was missing. Hey guys. Hmm. Anything at all I can mess with in here? Nothing. Hmm. Darn it.
keep me posted, fellas. Buffered or what I miss? I don't know. Honestly, I don't think you've really missed out on anything. I'm just kind of freaking lost. Could have sworn I'd done everything. Except this room. Huh. What? Looks like there's a hidden panel at the bottom of the birdcage. I've never noticed it before. That's weird. There's a loose screw on it. Almost like someone tried to open it. I'll need a screwdriver or something to open this. Well, I have a pocket watch. Does that have a screw thing detachment? It does. Alright. Oh. Okay. North. East. South. East. Oh, it's upside down. I just noticed the freaking Made in China sticker. North. East. South, east. There we go. Oh, jeez. Whoa. I think I found that key you lost. I didn't lose it. I just. Wait. How the hell did it even come? How the hell did that even come from? I didn't put it in there. Someone wanted us to find this. They couldn't have just like slipped it under my door or put it in my mailbox or something. Reality is a tangled web. Uh, what? Never mind. We got the key. Let's go check out the temple. Oh. Alright. Huh, so finding the teeth was the main quest. Okay, I thought that was a side thing. <laughs> main giant sticker. Oh, no, wait. I had to go lower. It wasn't here. It was in the freaking basement. I'm dumb. Lower! This way. Not in here. A little bit of lag. There we go. Yo, shut up! Two hours later. Everything seems normal here, Larry. Well, normal for absent apartments, at least. What about all those teeth and that glowing birdcage thing and the key? I guess that was a little odd. This feeling won't go away, either. Something bad is coming, dude. I don't know what or when, but I can feel it. You may be right. I'll fill Todd in when he's home and when we can come over later tonight with his gadgets. Okay, when is he out of class? Should be up by now, but I'm supposed to meet with Ash, remember? Oh, right. You should bring her along. I think we should go easy on her for now with the paranormal stuff. That's true. Last time she tagged along, things didn't go too well. Man, that was like a year ago now. Seems like every year just goes by faster and faster. They definitely do. Also, don't forget that we're all getting together for dinner tomorrow night. How could I forget? Between you and Ash, I got about a thousand texts about it. That's cute. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Sal. Oh, the hugs! 
I'm so excited to see you. I miss you so much. Oh, hi. Miss you too, Ash. You cut your hair. I like it. Thanks. It's easier for riding. I see you changed your hair as well. Oh, yeah, I guess. Looks rad. Though I do kind of miss the pigtails. Meh. <laughs> don't be awkward. Don't be awkward. Don't be awkward. Wee! I haven't been out to the lake since the last time we went there together. What's that? I said it's been a long time since I've been to the lake. Me too. It's so nice out there. Peaceful. You see, this is why you should just have a car. You can have a normal conversation in a car. Oh, this is nice. So, you and Ben all good now? Yeah, we're good. What was all that about, anyway? Stupid sibling stuff. He calls he called me soulless because I didn't cry at Grandma's funeral. He said I wasn't human because I never cry and blah blah blah. Then I turned into a big argument as if it, I wasn't sad enough about Grandma. Anyway, the point is we made up and we're okay. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen you cry. Well, I must be some kind of soulless monster. Grr, ah, grr. <coughs> <coughs> that hurt my throat. <laughs> you better watch out. We kill monsters like you around these parts. No, you better watch out. There's ain't no monster y'all be messing with. Then fine words, Missy. Hope you kissed your mama goodbye this morning. <laughs> How have you been, Sally Face? I've been having nightmares. I'm sorry. Are they as bad as before? They're... different. It's hard to explain. I've been losing a lot of sleep because of it. Are you worrying about anything? Sometimes if I'm not worried about something or just struggling with something difficult, I get nightmares about from it. I've had this overwhelming sense of dread lately. It doesn't make any sense because everything is fine. Everything should be good. Have you been taking those meds? Uh, yeah. Well, most of the time. You should take them if they help. I have a cousin that struggles with depression too, and she said the meds she takes helps her a lot. I guess they do help, but they also make me feel numb inside. At least with dread, I know it's real. Or at least really me. I think I can understand that. I just want you to be happy, Sal. You better make sure you call me if you ever need help. Or even if you just need to talk, you know? I'm always here for you, right? I know. Thanks, Ash. And I've said this before, but you know you don't have to wear that around me. My face? Your mask. But it's like a part of me now. It's the face I wear in public. The face I wear all the time. I just want you to know you don't have to wear it. If you don't want to. It's just you and me out here. No one else is around. Um... Haha... Uh. Yeah, you got a problem with that, bucko? I don't know. It was kind of nice with just the boys. Adding a girl to the mix sort of throws the whole thing off. Well, you better get used to it, because now you're stuck with me. I missed you, Ash. We all have. It's nice to have you back. Good to be back. I missed you guys a lot. I'm excited to see everyone tomorrow. Where are you going to stay? With my family for now. They kept my old room just the way I left it. Nice. My dad converted my room into an office pretty much as soon as I left. That's only because he was making room for Lisa. True. Still can't believe those two got married. You and Larry are like, stepbrothers? Yeah, I'm not fully used to it either. It's weird, but good weird. It's good to see my dad happy again. They're adorable together, to be honest. Are you happy? Happy with what? Everything. Life. I don't know. That's a hard question. Even though I've had a hard time lately, I try to find things that make me happy, things that are worth pursuing. Otherwise, what's the point, you know? Yeah. I'm happy right now. Are you sure okay, Sal? I'm getting a little worried about you. I don't know. I guess I'm just feeling off. It just feels like everything is wrong. What do you mean? It feels like nothing puts me at ease. It's this constant feeling of discomfort, like my soul isn't aligned with my body. 
I just feel like screaming at the sky until it breaks apart. Well, well what? Let's do it. We're gonna scream at the sky? I don't know. Come on, but you'll feel better. Oh, Jesus Christ. I wasn't expecting that part to be voice acted. Hey Tom. Hey, you're back from your date with, with from your date with Ashley already? I don't think it was a date, but yeah. Whatever you say, Sal. How'd it go? It was nice seeing her. It's gonna be good having her back. Indeed, Ashley is a good egg, and our investigators could benefit from the female perspective. Additionally, simply having fresh eyes on our research could prove useful. Speaking of, Larry and I think there's something weird going on in the apartments again. I told him that I'd bring you over tonight to check it out. Perfect. This will give me an opportunity to test out the new things I've been working on. Give me a few minutes to get ready. Sure, let me know whenever you're ready to head over. Will do. Vibrations! Sal, I'm sorry, dude. Please don't blame yourself. Wait, what? Sorry for what? What are you talking about? It's time for me to go. Better not be doing anything stupid. It's too late. I'll be gone soon. Stop messing around, Larry. This isn't funny. Hey. Larry? Pick up. Pick up the phone, Larry. Better pick up. Oh god, Larry. Kai Clownhead, thank you for the follow. Very much appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you've been well. Running, running, running. Stepbrother. Stepbrother. Larry? Larry! Larry! Where the hell are you? Larry! No. No! Larry! What did you do? Larry, why? Maybe I shouldn't have told Larry the truth. I was so excited to see Sal, I didn't realize how different he was acting at first. When we were hanging out together by Wendigo Lake, I started to notice it more. At the time though, he just seemed sad to me. I thought maybe he had stopped talking, taking his medications. Miss Campbell, at any point during your date with Sal, did you ever feel as if you were in danger or threatened at all? No, sir. It was nothing like that. So I was one of the sweetest boys I knew. I always felt safe being around him. Until later that night. Can you please explain what you witnessed at the treehouse? It wasn't too long after I'd gotten home from the lake that Sal called me, maybe an hour or so. He was clearly shaken up and I could tell from his voice that he had been crying. He told me that Larry was dead. I begged him to call 911. I told him that if he didn't, then I would. 
And did either of you call 911? No. The boys had me convinced since high school that there was a conspiracy in Knockdown involving the police that they couldn't be trusted. So I went against my better judgment and didn't make the call. I rode over to the apartments right away. When I got to the treehouse, Sal was acting weird, talking to himself and pacing back and forth. Obviously he was upset, we both were, but I had never seen him like that before. I tried to get him to calm down, but he kept rambling on about cultists and some impending evil. He said Larry was in the treehouse. I took a minute to gather my nerves, I wasn't sure what was going on, if Larry was really dead or if Sal had just lost it. I went up into the treehouse and there was nothing out of place in there except for an empty booze bottle. Have you ever known Sal to be a drinker? Not at all. Sal hardly ever touched stuff. He once told me that he was afraid to get drunk because addiction runs in his family. And he didn't want to become an alcoholic, so I knew something was really wrong. Larry wasn't anywhere to be seen. And Sal was starting to really worry me. I tried to calm him down with and reason with him, but he was not receptive to it. I tried to get him inside, but he wouldn't budge. We got into an argument. It was the only time we'd ever argued. I had to walk away from him. I couldn't be around him like that. And I didn't want to make him worse. Before I left, I let Henry and Lisa know that Sal needed him. They, they said they'd look after him and I told him to call me if they needed me. I felt horrible leaving Sal like that. I just didn't know what to do. I wish I could have stayed there. I should have stayed with him. I sat by my phone all night until I got the second call. About 10 minutes after Ashley left, Todd showed up. He figured something was wrong since I left so suddenly and wasn't answering his texts. He drove over in the van with our gear. I told Todd what Larry did. We both needed time to collect ourselves. Larry was our best friend. The four of us were family, like I said earlier. What happened to his body? I'm not sure. He's trying to tell me something, but it's all broken up. I think he's having trouble communicating with us. Let's try out the new gear. I think it'll help. Hold on. Alright, with the Necro light modifications I made to your guitar, I believe we'll be able to manipulate the spirit realm in some capacity. How does it work? Turn it on using that G button there. You'll notice that I've added 12 symbols to the neck of the guitar. Play the corresponding notes to activate the symbols. Select a group of notes, then press J, K, or L to strum one of the notes in that group. Try playing all 12 notes. Sorry that I killed you, quote unquote. I'm not sure what happened exactly. Hello, my dear Sally. Who are Rose? The lead from your guitar contains magic from another world. It seems that the prosopy may have been true after all. Uh, what? There isn't time to explain. You must use this power to stop them. The devourers of God have pursued persevered despite our best efforts to stop What the hell was that? A ripple across the fabric of reality. It has begun. You must destroy the barrier spell to reach the source and put an end to it. How will I do that? Use the power of the Necrolites. You'll need help from the spirit realm to reveal what is hidden to you. 
cannot be a help in this regard, as I am much remain within the black room. Though I can temporarily release your friend Larry from that which binds him, he will be your eyes on the other side. Godspeed, dear Sally. Sal! So, huh? You scared the crap out of me. You disappeared and then there was an intense sound that shook the treehouse. Where were you? I, uh, I guess the guitar worked. I saw Rosenberg. She said the cult is back, but we need to stop them before. Oh, God. They have a Satan sword. What the? How did... Oh, hey, Larry. Larry! I think Rosenberg is helping us somehow. I was stuck in that damn treehouse for so long. It's only been a few hours since you... You... You asshole! How could you do this? Why did you leave me? Why? I'm sorry, dude. I really am. But we don't have much time. Rose said the cult is here now and has to be stopped tonight. It's not going to be easy. I just can't believe this is real. I can't believe you're really gone. Come on, Sal. Let's take these fuckers out once for all. What the fuck? This can't be good. Um, so what do I do? Um, I might be a little lost on what to do. Oh. Oh. Yo, Ghost Larry, are you able to move this? Larry, this is the dead stone. Press R to speak it tightly and summon the power from within. You must use this ancient relic to assist Sally. What does it do? Hello? Oh, well, guess I'm not finding out. Huh. Alright. Guess I switched to Sally now. What am I doing? Did that work? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh. Oh, it wants me to play specific notes. Okay. Oh. Fuck. Alright. 
Might have taken too long. Geronimo! Oh, wrong button. Geronimo! Ah. Uh. Ew. That's locked now. Uh, so is that. And... All those are locked. Alright. Well, down I go, I guess. Leave this floor? Oh, wait. I should probably check with Larry, actually. Is he going to be down here? Or is he still going to be on the roof? Oh, okay. Now he can drop down. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey. The shapeless man walks in awkward strides. Well, he's gone. No handle. Battery is dead. Really? How bad is your phone, man? Sarah on the Fritz again? Oh. Oh uh, yeah, I guess I didn't... Uh, I guess, I don't know. Everything okay, man? Drop down, I guess. Oh, Robert. Hang in there, dude. I didn't put that back, did I? No. Alright. Shit. Are you two okay? What the hell is this? Mom? 
Henry? If you can hear me, we're gonna fix this. Just hold on. Sounds like something happened in the hallway. What are you guys doing? We're watching TV, but what's the point, really? These shows are all the same. Everything has become so predictable. Are you two all right? We're fine, Sal. Just fine. Everything's peachy. Okay. Alright, here I go again. Oh, that was the wrong one. Whoops. Oh! Holy shit! Guess this is what he meant when he said he was leaving. Fuck. I didn't see that coming at all. Holy shit. Yo, Larry, can you like see their ghosts? Herman? What the happened to you? You look like shit, dude. You can say the same to you. How did... Wait a minute, how are you here? Same as you. Dead. No, I mean, how are you in this room? The spirit should be confined to their place of death. Sandy should be here, but it's too late. I was too late. She's gone. All the old souls have assimilated. Rosenberg, like, she broke the spell that was holding me in the treehouse or something. I'm not really sure. You know what happened to the other ghosts? Does it have to do with the cult? What's the matter now? Nothing does. I just need to wait here until it takes me. It's the fate we all face eventually. It's not too late. Sal's going to stop this thing, and I'm going to help him do it. Your efforts will be wasted. All who die in this place need not seek redemption, for it is lost to us forever. I guess he was a part of the cult. Oh wow, it is really dark in here. Yeah, Larry, Larry kind of um, uh, moved himself to the afterlife. Y you might have missed that. Oh, Mr. Sanderson did too. And that one actually scared the shit out of me. Another tape. I'm gone. I was in D DBD. I didn't see. No, but why? Oh, geez. The, these ghosts, so full of life, strong, healthy blood, tender meat. Oh, how we crave their flesh. Yet they deny us soon. 
soon we will be there, and they will have called, and we will have answered. The floor is moist. Is this me? There is nothing left. We have consumed. Okay. I think I missed a lot of tapes. Call it a hunch. I guess that's what I had sent through with Larry. Dropping down. This side again. Hey man, still a part of the No Pants Club? We must look far beyond the anguish of life. Deep into the true nature of all things, therein lies our salvation. Okay... What about you, CJ? Oh, hey guys! Sally Face, it's good to see you! Hello, Sal, what is happening? Greetings, I'm glad you can make it. I can't stay for too long, I'm trying to know something. It's good to see you all though. How you guys you guys feeling alright? We're just dandy, bud. Everything is peachy. You should stay, Sal. Yeah, so it'd be best for you to stay here. There's no use in fighting it, my friend. I really should be going now. Everything is fine, don't worry, Sal, you'll see. Oh god. Okay, I thought maybe they were fine, but they are not fine. She has an actual body and stuff in here. There we go. And now switch back to Sal. Uh, bye guys, have fun. Oh, I noticed you guys Realized I changed your stereo and you changed it back. Alright, here we go again. Um, there we go. Chug, how are you feeling, buddy? Feeling? Yeah, there's uh, something going around. I think it'll be cleared up soon, though. Soon? Yeah, just keep an eye on Soda, okay? Soda? Your daughter, remember her? She's sitting right next to you? Oh, I don't like where this is heading. Oh, that's just locked. Alright. 
Uh, Larry, let's see how things are on your end. Huh. I took something? What did I take? Dark Pony. Oh wow, that door just doesn't exist here. Did I fix them by taking away the pony? The shifting thing spoke in cryptic whispers. That's... They're not covered in black goo like everyone else, it seems, but they're not okay. Oh my god, your eyes. Before the light, there was darkness and nothing more. Just chill out here for a moment. Maybe smoke some weed. It might be good for you. Alright, I need to get Larry down here. That's for Sal to do. Right, can I go into this other door with Larry? Some kind of goo lock on it. Oh, it doesn't let me. Alright. Back to Sal. Okay, I guess I put that on the other side for Larry. Uh, sorry Larry, you're gonna have to go astral toilet digging. Floating in the toilet. I guess I should. Uh -oh. oh, the key. Okay. I have a gooey key for a gooey lock. Fun. Goaty's gone. Uh, 
probably not the rooms I should be checking. I guess I need Sal to do stuff. Still that turn. Open now? But how? I didn't open it. Oh, did I switch? Whoops. Didn't mean to. Sorry, Sal. I have no idea what I'm doing. there. I guess Sal going through the room made it appear for me. Hmm. Very interesting puzzle structure at the very least, even if I am getting stuck on it a couple times. Alright, now we switch back to Sal. again. Alright. Probably going to be more interesting to see what's happening on Larry's side. Let's go! Oh, well, one door doesn't exist for me, so... Oh, hey, a pentagram! That's cool. Wrong button. I guess there was just a pentagram to see. Gibson? Oh, there's a rancid smell coming from our room. 
Ew. Alright, definitely gonna need Larry. Oops. I keep clicking the wrong buttons. Oh. Why didn't that happen before? Alright. I guess I just didn't realize that? Hmm. Alright, well, time for more guitar. Carrot? Do I have a carrot? Why do I have a carrot? Okay. Okay, this is gonna sound like a weird idea. Can I use the... Oops. Can I use the carrot here? Normal carrot. Wait, but I can drop it here specifically? Okay. Oop. Wrong button. Larry, is that carrot different in your world? Kind of joke. I have no idea. Hmm. Uh, I lost Larry. A young boy stands at the threshold of oblivion, mesmerized by the eternal abyss. Tormented and bound by the world of mankind. Oh my god! Oh, is that what you were putting in your tea? Oh! Prisoner of flesh and bone. Terrence? Oh, there's like a bunch of handprints of like him trying to get out and stuff, it looks like. How long have you been like this? Um. Terrence? Oh my! What the fuck? Did the cult do this to you? The child does not choose his own fate. It has always been this way. You will soon understand the true harmony 
of the Endless One. Are you the Endless One? Why are you infecting the souls in this building? Darkness moves through all things and obeys our will. We are everlasting. We are beyond death. Terence! I know you're in there somewhere. You have to stop this! You speak the name of a child who is no more. Your struggle is meaningless. And I'll stop you myself. You will try and you will fail. It always has. Ah, teeth! Oh, what am I doing? Oh, uh... Alright, I need to be ready. Sorry, I'm quiet, I'm really having to focus. Alright, please be gone. Gone, disgusting sludge monster. What? I've been waiting for you, Sal. I knew you would be the one. I knew from the moment I saw you. Terrence? My apologies, good sir. I haven't quite been myself and I've caused so much pain. Is it over now? Almost. I'm afraid there's one more task that remains. And it's a hideous one. Whatever it is, I'll do it. Whatever it takes to end this for good. You must kill all those who've been tainted by the dark. But... But that's everyone in this building. Those are my friends and family. We've cleared the darkness from their souls. We've already saved them. I'm afraid it's too late for them, Sal. Their souls are destroyed beyond repair. If left unchecked, the shadows will seep through the cracks and many more lives will be extinguished. My heart weighs heavy in sorrow for you. I know you will lose everything. Just like I had many years ago. I don't think I can do this. Please don't make me do this, Terrence. It is your choice to make. I know it's an extraordinary burden to bear, but I also know you will do the right thing. I... No. Addison is right, Sal. This must be done. I'm so sorry. I wish there were another way. No? How did you get outside? I don't feel well. Would you help me get into my apartment, Sal? Please? <sighs> Fuck. Oh shit. Oh, Todd's parents. Sally Faze, have you seen our little Todd around? We need to talk to him. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh god. Hey guys. Hey dude, glad you decided to come back. Now we can really get this party started. Oh, jeez. Why her and the eye, Sal? I know we have to do this and everything, but come on, the eye man, that just seemed a bit cruel. 
I guess she was your least favorite out of those friends. Uh, hey, David. Hey, Sal. You feeling all right? I think there's something going around. Oh, I'm sorry. No! No, 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 no. I don't want to. No, 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 no. Come on. No. Oh, no. Sally face, can I ride on her shoulders now? Fuck. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh god. Okay, that one hurt. Oh, uh, uh, hey Robert. What's up, my man? You're a little looking. You're looking a little worse for wear. Everything okay? No, definitely not. I'm sorry, man. You're really cool, too. I still like your evil bread poster. Oh, fuck. Hey, kiddo. There's some leftover lasagna in the fridge if you're hungry. You know, I may not say this enough, but I'm proud of you, Sal. You've come a long way, and I know it hasn't all been easy. I look at you now, and I'm excited about the man you're becoming. I think you got a bright future out of you. I really do. I love you, buddy. Fuck. Ah, oh, oh my god, that hurts. Something is wrong. Todd? I blacked out in the treehouse and woke up in the temple. They had me tied down. There was something else there. I think it was the demon. They cut me and took some of my blood. There was a loud sound and I passed out again. When I came to, they were gone and I was untied. I don't feel right, Sal. I think I'm dying. Holy shit! Oh my god, that actually brought me to tears slightly. It was around 3 a.m. when I got the next phone call from Todd. He was crying so hard I could barely make out what he was saying. I knew Todd and Sal were in trouble and that they were at the apartments. It sounded serious, so I called the police and rode over right away. I just got there as the police showed up. On my way to the door, I saw Todd running into the woods. I called for him, but he just kept running. I approached the building and Sal was standing there in the doorway, covered in blood and just staring out. He was mumbling the same thing over and over. I had no choice. I had to do it. There wasn't any other way. I tried to talk to him, but he was unresponsive. The cops pulled me away before I could get any closer to him. Sal isn't an evil man. He's not a bad person. He just needs help. I hate your nose. Dr. Enon, you've handled Mr. Fisher's psychi psychiatric assessment during his time in prison. Including several months of therapy sessions, is correct? Wait, no, he's supposed. To... No, you're supposed to be dead! You fell out of the treehouse! Yes, that is correct. And have you con and what have you concluded from your time with the defendant? It is my professional opinion that Sal Fisher is perfectly sane and was 100% lucid while he proceeded to murder the occupants of Addison Apartments. The elaborate story he has concocted is simply that a story tale to make him out to be the hero rather than the villain. He was so convincing that even I began to believe his story. I went out to the apartments to visit the treehouse that Sal requested. There was nothing there at all. Oh my god, dude, you missed so fucking much. I, like, literally am tearing a little bit and stuff. You missed a lot. 
In fact, the, thir the further I poked into his story, the more inconsistencies there were. These inconsistencies, along with all the contradictory evidence, proved to me that Sal is not delusional, but simply lying to protect himself. My bad, summarize it. Well, after Larry killed himself and stuff, uh, the, the ghost lady, whatever, is like, hey, stop the cult before they like destroy the world and stuff. Going through the apartments and stuff, we saw that everyone was infected. Got to the dude who's like always behind his door and stuff, and he was like this big, giant, green, mucus slug monster. I beat him, and then like his real form, which was like a kid. I don't know why he was a kid. His real form showed up and told me that in order to save everyone, I had to kill everyone that was infected, which was the whole building. So, all the nice people, my friends, the freaking adorable little girl, um, uh, Sal's own parents and stuff. It, it was fucking intense. In your opinion, is Sal Fisher a threat to the public? Absolutely, without a doubt. You're supposed to be dead, you motherfucker! Members of the jury, have you reached a verdict? Oh my god, why are you more depressed than me? Yes, your honor, we have reached a verdict. In case of Sal Fisher versus County of Knockville, what say you? The members of this jury find the defendant guilty of first-degree mass murder. I agree with the jury on the verdict of guilt, and because of the severity of the crime committed, I hereby send Sal Fisher to receive capital punishment. No, you can't do that! He's sick! He needs our help! Order! Order in the court! Three years later, Ashley had tried in almost every way she could think of to prevent Sal's execution, and failed with each attempt. Now she sits in her living room as the news reveals that today is the day Sal will be executed. A deep sadness washes over her. It's then that she has an idea that comes to Ashley could change everything. So she had to act fast. Oh, I'm a girl now. Larry, are you here? Please, dude, if you're here, then show yourself. We need to help Sal, he's in trouble. I brought some of your old music. If this doesn't work, then this is the last time I'm coming up here. Larry? Holy fucking shit. Hey, Ash. You guys were telling the truth this whole time. Well, yeah, duh. I knew it. Well, I had my doubts, obviously, but I really, really wanted to believe it. Just don't fall out of the treehouse, okay? Huh? Never mind. How are we going to help Sal? Oh, I have a plan. Just hold still for a sec. Shit, that's bright. Damn. Yes, I got it. Drive. Maybe a little faster. Any minute now. No. No. Is this the ending or an ending? It's not the end. There's still one more episode after this. I'm afraid you're too late, honey. You're strapping in now. Wait! He was telling the truth, I have proof, please! 
You have to wait, just let me show you what I found! Hey! Hey, wait! No! No! Time of death is 6.33 p.m. Sal. Oh god, no. Achievement unlocked, suffer. Yeah, you made me feel that way, game. Thanks. Living life to Herman Sanderson, 51 to 92. Loving husband to Cassandra Sanderson, 45 to 99. Rotten pieces, 69 to 99. Okay, well that's a bit rude. Wait, Robert, Robert was one of the cool ones. Why is he rotten pieces? Ray and Janice shared grave, even in death, can you keep those two apart? Son, husband, father, friend. 77 to 99. Hey, Chug. Miss you, dude. Oh, soda. I can't. Yeah, same. Son of Lisa and Jim Johnson. 76 to 99. They never did find Larry's body. Mother of Larry Johnson, wife of Henry Fisher, 56 to 99. Lisa was always so nice to me. She treated me like family. Husband of Lisa, uh, John Fisher, father to Sal Fisher, 47 to 99. I can't imagine how much this hurts, Sal. Oh, they left my mask here. That's nice. Son of Henry and Diane Fisher. 76 to 2004. I wish you were here, Sal. Yo, did they literally break my mask in part? Sorry, I haven't visited in a few nights. Things got worse. It's been five months since Todd escaped from the institution. I hope he's okay. He's gonna be under that darn church. That's the one place we haven't been able to get to. If they're down there, I know they are. And they have my Todd. Did you get the rest of that C4 from your army friend? I got it last night. Have you found a way in? I think so, yeah. We should go Tuesday night. That's when they're active. At least active. Remember our agreement. If we get caught down there, we won't. We want to get Todd and we're going to blow that place to bits. Neil, I'm serious. So am I. But if we do get caught, then yeah. We take them down with us. I'm ready. Good. At least one of us is. Holy fucking shit. Oh god, that got me way more emotional than what I thought it would. Oh my god. Why do you play games like this? Because I like to suffer. Yes, I, I don't know. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Uh, Neil, at least you still look like a Chad. <laughs> Table flips. <sighs> okay, well. As if it wasn't any, like, obvious indication. This is where we're stopping for today. <laughs> We'll finish off the game with chapter or episode five tomorrow. Oh my fucking god. Well, hey, there's only two people left that they could kill that I care about. So, you know, it can't get really much worse. Jesus Christ, that was intense. 
I swear to God, if you're someone who watches the channel or the stream and you got this far and didn't follow, that's just messed up, man. I literally suffered. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, we're gonna start wrapping up here. Thank you for everyone who watched, who's watching this video on YouTube. Thank you for everyone who stopped by live. Again, major thank you to Just Forget and Kai Clownhead for the follows today. Very much appreciated from you both. Thank you so, so, so much. And yeah, thank you my mod for being here the whole time. Very much appreciate you too, of course. And yeah, we'll finish this off tomorrow. Hope you're all looking forward to it. Because, goddamn, I don't know what to expect anymore. Oop, sorry, sound cut out. You better have. Alright, well, now we're just getting insulting and that's just me. Alright, before my mod insults me anymore. Bye, YouTube!